What's up guys, Jordan Schumacher here and in this video we're going to talk about how to transition your agency and move from $500 clients to $5,000 clients and it comes down to understanding one simple principle which is the principle of ROI and arbitrage and so what you need to understand in, in any business to business purchasing decision really in, in any purchasing decision is this concept of arbitrage and so what is money right money is a vehicle for exchanging value like think about yourself when the last time you went shopping for clothes for example you might have spent more money on a pair of jeans than your friend let's say you really like expensive jeans you drop 400 bucks on a, on a pair of jeans to your friend that might be absolutely insane right because your friend is looking at the pair of jeans and is like a, a $20 Walmart pair of jeans works great for me and for you you need a $400 pair of jeans it's because to you that $400 pair of jeans was more valuable to you than the $400 itself and so you paid $400 in exchange for which you received something of greater than $400 value to you as you valued it in your head. Now that, that value is subjective, it's based on how you feel, like there's no real direct ROI there, like wearing those $400 jeans is probably not going to result in $800 to your net income in the next 30 days. But it's the same principle, right? So you paid $400 in exchange for which you received a product that you valued at greater than $400. We make these decisions every single day of our lives anytime we purchase anything. In business to business purchasing relationships and in consulting relationships and agency relationships, it's the exact same process. And so essentially what we are doing as agency owners and as consultants, we are saying, okay, business owner, you are going to pay us X dollars. You're going to pay us a thousand dollars. You're going to pay us $5,000. And in exchange for that fee, we are going to deliver, you know, three X or four X or five X the value to your business. So you pay me a thousand dollars. I will make you $5,000 to your bottom line, $10,000 to your bottom line, $25,000 to your bottom line. That is why this business model works so well and that's why it's so powerful because as paid traffic marketers, we are very easily able to say, okay, business, you pay us five grand, we will make you 25 grand or 50 grand or 100 grand. It, it becomes a very, very simple value prop to make. And so what you need to understand is if right now you're working with $500 clients, in order to take those $500 clients to a $5,000 level of client, you need to understand this process. And so let's let's take a look at, at how this works. And so right now, if you're at a $500 client, <laughs> excuse my mouse, and you wanna take them to $5,000, then what you need to understand is that in order to increase your price, you can do that through one of three ways. Method number one is to simply just raise your rates, right? You just you just straight up say, I'm gonna do the same thing for the same people, I'm just charging more. And in many cases, especially if you're just starting out, because you know when you're just starting out, starting up an agency, scaling an agency, like you're probably not as confident in the, the results and the value that you provide as you could be. And so when you're just starting out, you most people tend to underprice themselves. And so a really great way to just start making more money is to just charge more and do the exact same thing and oftentimes you'll find that your clients are perfectly happy to pay the increased rate. They honestly, most of your clients are probably thinking, wow, this is like shockingly cheap. He should charge more. And so the easiest method to, to raise your rates is to simply start charging more. Method number two is to simply figure out ways that you can add more value to your client's business. And so that either means you literally start doing more for them. So maybe uh, you are only doing a small part of their digital marketing. You start doing more of their digital marketing. In that way, you're able to more uh, directly impact their bottom line, add more value to their business. And as a result, you can justify charging more or it just means you do a better job of showing the value that you're already adding. And so maybe you're running uh, lead gen for, I don't know, let's say a dentist, right? Average per visit value of a dentist patient, let's call it $100. But dentists also know that the average lifetime value of each patient is $1,000. Now, if you're driving 
new patients to this dental office and you're only basing your rates on the value of one visit. So let's say, uh, let's say you're driving in, I don't know, for easy math here. Let's say you're driving in 50 new visitors or new patients to a dental practice at $100 per first visit value. That means that you're generating $5,000 um, of value per month, right? And in which case, if you're only driving $5,000 of value per month, like you probably can't justify charging that dentist more than like a thousand bucks, right? There's the, you're just not generating that much value in the business. But when you extrapolate this $100 per visit value to the lifetime of the customer, which is actually a thousand dollars, all of a sudden now over the lifetime of a customer, you're generating $50,000 of value to this business per month, right? You've got 50 new patients at a 1K lifetime value. That's $50,000 in value to this business per month. And if you can show that, and if you can prove that, and, and most dental offices have this data, this is this one-known fact, if you can show that and prove that, then all of a sudden it becomes very, very easy to justify a significantly higher retainer and a significantly higher rate. And so that is the, the second way that you can actually increase your rate is to actually just show and demonstrate that you're adding more value or to actually just expand the scope of your work and add more value to the bottom line of this business. Now, the third and final way, and really the, in my opinion, one of the best ways to actually upgrade your clients from like a $500 level of client to a $5,000 level of client is just work with clients who are already generating more value. So basically bigger clients or more profitable clients. And the reason that this is such a powerful way to scale your agency, let me illustrate this. So let's say that you're working with, I don't know, Joe's auto vacuuming service down the street, right? Maybe Joe's auto vacuuming service is an incredibly successful vacuuming service and, and they're generating, uh, let's say $10,000 per month in revenue. And then you as a marketer come in and you increase the size of their business by 50%. Actually, you know what? You increase the size of their business you double it. You single-handedly double their business from $10,000 to $20,000 per month. That's still only a $10,000 per month delta, which is great. Like that's, I mean, don't get me wrong. $10,000 per month is a lot of money, but when it comes to a business and when it comes to the arbitrage that you're able to generate and the rates that you are able to charge based on that $10,000 increase to your bottom line, you probably can't justify charging more than one to $2,000 per month when you're generating $10,000, right? Like otherwise it just doesn't make sense for that business owner. The arbitrage needs to be there. The ROI needs to be there. And so realistically, you're never going to be able to, to charge a, a lot of money to Joe's auto vacuuming service down the street. I mean, unless they're just the world's greatest vacuuming service and there's something crazy going on. For 99.999% of Joe's vacuuming services, you're not gonna be able to charge that much. And so what you need to do is once you start getting these results, once you start getting these skill sets, you're gonna find that to get results in one industry uh, and, and in a small business, it doesn't require that much more effort to get these same results in a larger business. It's just a little bit more difficult to acquire those larger businesses as clients. And so once you've built that skill set, that foundation, those testimonials, those case studies, what you need to do then is you need to actually go out and start closing bigger clients. And there, I mean, there's a lot of ways to do that. I have a free training on it. But what you need to do is go out and start closing those larger clients, clients that uh, have a larger scale. So maybe a client that's already doing 100K per month, a million dollar business, uh, or you know, just a larger client, a client that's already at scale, a client that's already adding more value as judged monetarily. And what that allows you to do then, as a marketer, you can come in and you can actually perform virtually the same amount of work on that account, but because they are already at scale, a 50% improvement to a $100,000 per month client is all of a sudden $50,000 per month. If you double that business, it's $100,000 per month. If you're generating $100,000 per month 
it is very, very easy for you to justify a $5,000 price point, a $10,000 price point. And that is how, when you look at some of these agency pricing models, they're working with Fortune 50, Fortune 500 companies, right? And they're generating hundreds of thousands to in some cases, millions of dollars in revenue every single month and that is how they're able to justify you know 20k per month 50k per month in some cases one hundred thousand dollar per month retainers simply because of the scale of these businesses and so to recap the easiest way to go from a five hundred dollar per month client to a five thousand dollar per month client is simply to one start charging more two add more value or demonstrate that you are adding more value than you're currently charging for or three upgrade the level of clients that you're working with. Follow these three things. You will scale your business. You will scale the profit that you're making from each client. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what other topics you would like me to create uh, videos around. This video was literally taken as, as a comment suggestion. I read every single comment, try to respond to them. Please leave me comments below. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. Keep hustling.